Warner, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, about an hour ago, the snowflakes started to fall here in Springfield. We'd actually see that. We can't see the individual flakes, but you can see the fuzziness here on Tower Cam. That fuzziness is light snow, which is currently falling in Springfield. Temperature still just above the freezing mark, but they'll drop a few more degrees over the next couple of hours. And I think with the light snow or flurries continuing, we may have a light dusting by tomorrow morning. Uh, temperatures today managed to get to uh, pretty lofty levels compared to the rest of this past week. 49 degrees today in Springfield, our warmest day in about a week. You can see over Joplin 50, 51 in Fayetteville, a little cooler to the north. This was thanks partly due to a lot of high cloudiness, uh, mid and high level cloudiness that, that persisted across that area, kind of acting almost like a shadow, keeping temperatures a little cooler there. We had some warmer air also nosing into southwest Missouri and northern Arkansas ahead of a cold front, which has since swept across the area. Love showing this because it's just incredible just the just the the flip of the switch that we had occur on Friday of last week. We went from really really warm November weather to really cold November weather and it has been persistent and another blast of cold is coming. This is a look at coast to coast cold featuring uh, high temperatures and departure from normal in those high temperatures and you can see this well of cold air that's located back here in Montana and Wyoming. That's what's slipping southeast overnight tonight and into Friday and that's what's going to make for a frigid Friday across the area. Uh, also ahead of that, we're getting uh, that snow that's flying right now across southeast Kansas, southwest Missouri and northeast Oklahoma. This band of snow setting up because of a frontal zone that's developing above the surface. We've got our surface front here now in northwest Arkansas, but we've got a frontal zone behind that front higher up in the atmosphere, and that's helping to generate this band of snowfall that extends into southwest Missouri. And you know, we've been watching that over the last several hours drop southeast. Well, now the lower levels of the atmosphere have gotten saturated to the point where those snowflakes have been able to make it all the way down to the ground. And so from here on out, I think we're going to have light snow or flurries across a lot of southern Missouri, and that'll get into northern Arkansas later tonight as well. During the day on Friday, we'll continue that risk for some snow showers or flurries, especially over northwest Arkansas. Uh, and with the snow falling and temperatures falling, I can't rule out the possibility of a dusting of snow by morning. Temperatures certainly will be cold by morning. 22 for a low with an afternoon high that'll range from a little bit below freezing to mid 30s across northern Arkansas. 31 the afternoon high in Springfield. Temperatures going back the other way tomorrow night as skies clear out. 18 for a morning low on Saturday. A high of 40 on uh, Saturday as uh, temperatures try to turn around ahead of a, another cold front that will be sweeping quickly southeast across the area. That 40 will also come with breezy winds uh, that will become northwesterly behind that front. So we're going to be dealing with wind chills, I think, in the uh, 20s and low 30s through uh, a good portion of the day on Saturday. And then by Sunday morning, we're looking at teens for most of the area for morning lows. That looks like the beginnings of a warming trend, though, right there. 46 for high with sunshine on Sunday, and it looks like we're back in the 50s come Monday as the whole jet stream pattern changes across the nation. That cold air supply will get cut off, and we're going to find more of a dip developing in the jet stream in the western U.S. That'll help to moderate the temperatures in our area and also lead to the next storm that'll push across the area Wednesday night through Thanksgiving Day itself. So I think for Thanksgiving Day, we're looking at wet and cool conditions. For travelers on Wednesday, it now looks like we're going to be able to hold off those rain chances until overnight Wednesday night. So traveling doesn't look too bad. 37 in the morning for a low afternoon high of 57. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't a few areas that make it up to 60. Uh, Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday afternoon. Thursday looking a little bit cooler though with that storm moving through. I think it could be a day where we have morning highs in the low 50s with temperatures maybe falling back into the 40s. We're not in Buffalo though. We are. <laughs> what is it? What is the forecast now? Two six well, feet of snow. Well, let's uh, let's transition to that okay. as I segue.